Hello everybody and welcome to episode 65 on the Manicraft server with Black Dog Z. Alright, so today we're going to work on some bees. I wonder why the server has been raining so much. Last couple of days all it's been is rain, 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 rain. I can never quite figure out why, but it's just constantly raining. And unfortunately, I still do not have what I need in order to make it stop. We'll go ahead and set up our marshies again. Alright, so now these are my nobles. These will hopefully be purebred majestics. These are unwaries. Primevals. Valiant. Common. Forest. Marbled. Rocky and Meadows. So the reason we didn't move the ones up front here is because we're still trying to get those ones worked out and hopefully we can. Alright, so we'll toss all these leftover drones over here. And we'll go get our Bealizer. I'm going to figure out what we did with our Bealizer. It's been a while. Might be down at the house. Something we'll have to put in our bag, because it's something that we always want to have on us. In case we need to check out bees. Why did monsters keep spawning in here? I don't quite get that. They keep spawning in there for no reason. And I have these steadfast drones, and I'm not exactly sure where I got them, but I did get them, so we'll have to take a look here and see what they do. I've never actually had a steadfast drone, so the fact that those are in there, they might be a present from someone. I know Task has been working on bees, so it's hard to say if he uh, managed to get steadfast drones. I don't know where all his bees are, and every time I go to look at his bees, all I see are your basic bee brands. Alright, so well, I'm probably going to need more honey. But we do have honey over here, because I ran some through here. Which power do we have left? Oh, not too, too bad. We should be all out of sticks. Perfect. I got more impregnated sticks if I need them. The acclimatizer and the squeezer. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our bealizer there. We'll start with our nobles. Also, we do have plenty of honey in here still, but we'll go ahead and fill it right up. So, this is a purebred noble. Normal, normal, okay. You're a purebred normal, noble, sorry. And you're a purebred noble. That's always good to see. Now you guys, the Majestics. First of all, that's a purebred noble. That's a purebred noble. This is a Majestic noble. Majestic noble. Majestic Noble. 
normal shortened, slower shortened, slower shortened. So we want to do those two. And actually, we want to take the soul frames out of here because we actually want. So we have unwary, unwary, perfect, speed is fast, eh, it's not bad. Trooper and unwary drones. Nice. Alright, so we got our unwaries, which is kind of nice. Then we have our prime evil. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. So now I actually want to go over to our system here because I want to take a look at the majestic and nobles because I can't remember which one I wanted. So if we go in here. All of our stuff is in here, which is kind of nice. You can find out everything about them. And you see that they do dripping cones. And then the nobles also do dripping cones. So either one of these, the majestic is way better than the noble, um, which is good. Hopefully we can get a purebred majestic. And the dripping cones, if I am correct, are what we're looking for. Drip. You can use that to make an apiarist trust. And unfortunately, it doesn't tell me. But I think dripping cones are used for royal jelly. I can never remember. I know it's along that line. Uh, we went up from uh, Imperial Majestic Noble. And so, I think it goes Imperial Noble Majestic, actually. But I'm not sure. Um... Unfortunately, this system doesn't seem to tell me, well, noble and cultivated make majestic. Common and cultivated make noble. So, the majestic is the higher of the two. And this is noble and majestic make imperial. Nice. What does imperial make? See, Imperial is what I actually want. Because it makes Royal Jelly. So this is what we're trying to get to. Uh, we need Purebred Majestic. Sorry, Purebred Nobles. Sorry, no. We need a Majestic and a Noble. So we've got our Purebred Nobles. We need Purebred Majestics. And then once we do that, we can get our Imperials. So that's what I'm trying to do, is just pure breed them in. And hopefully we're successful. Now there is a neat trick here that you can do. And that is you can go here with your Meadows Queen. And we can put our soul frames in. And put a Noble Drone. And the hope is that with a purebred Noble, I'll be able to get what I need for the Meadows. Actually, you know what? Majestic Noble maybe? Yeah, we'll make some Majestic Noble. Because we might want to get Majestic instead of Noble. Why not? As you can see, we've got a lot of bees that we need to get rid of. Now, I accidentally stuck in these bees, and I don't want... Apparently that caused me to crash. It's one thing I don't like about this particular system is that sometimes it will cause you to crash. There we go. Got my steadfast out. And let's see if we can go grab some more of those bees.
And in theory, I should be able to pop that out. I'm kind of wondering. That's what I thought. Ooh, wow. They really need to fix that. I'm doing this mostly because I'm lazy. I don't want to have to walk all the way over there. I don't have very much inventory space. Don't have an apiarist's backpack or anything yet. So if I do this, it will provide me plenty more room for bees, as you can see. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. These steadfast drones. They are nocturnal, which is kind of nice. Not quite sure what to use them for yet, but I have a feeling that we'll need them at some point. And they do look really nice with their shiny look. Not all the bees have a shiny look, as you can see. In fact, most of them don't. So the fact that the Steadfast have a nice shiny look is kind of neat. Since nobody is on, I'm just going to make a quick change here. Um, no. Here we go. So that way I can do this. Because night and raining is not going to help us. And sunshiny, on the other hand, is what we want to do. So hopefully we'll get our majestic here. I took up the the soul frames because we don't want it to uh, go all weird on us. So now, in theory, though, our rocky drones are probably almost done. Yeah, they're done. So we'll go ahead and we'll take out our rocky combs. We'll put them in there. You still haven't combined. So I got the soul frames in here because I want mutations. Now, these soul frames are almost broken, so I'll have to get some new ones. But I'm hoping that we can breed out some majestic in there. And if we breed out some majestic in there, then we can get a ton of royal jelly and dripping combs. Which is exactly what we want. We don't want these regular combs, these honeycombs. We don't really want the cocoa combs, or the mossy combs, or the rocky combs. What we really want is royal jelly. Because we can't really start on the bees until we have royal jelly. Once we have royal jelly, there's all sorts of things we can do with the bees. And what I want to do is get into extra bees and a lot of the stuff that they do. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to have them create their royal jelly. And this sugar is kind of completely useless. I don't know what I would do with sugar. So I'm just going to throw it in the chest. As you can see, we've got some impregnated frames, which actually, I'm going to take a couple of these proven frames. They last a while. And I'm going to put them with my majestic guys. And the reason I'm going to put them in here is because I want her to produce more combs. Because dripping combs are nice. What I really want them for is the honey. But hopefully we can get a pure bread out of that and we can get some stuff out of it. Alright, so let's take a look at the other frames. Because we haven't really used anything but a soul frame or a proven frame. We have healing frames, we have restraint frames, soul frames, nova frame, which I think is just creative only. We have a chocolate frame, which is supposed to reduce life, but increase uh, production. And we need cocoa beans for that. So why don't we go ahead and produce a couple of those in preparation for our new species of bee that we're trying to get because we're going to want as many as possible when it comes to that. 
So, we're going to need some of these cocoa combs. We've got almost a full stack, and with a 25% chance of getting cocoa, it shouldn't be too, too bad. There we go. Look at that. Cocoa on the first try. Alright, we're just going to drop this stuff in here. And. Huh. So we've already got three cocoa and some impregnated sticks. We've already got some impregnated frames. I want three of those. We'll grab this cocoa. Hopefully we get enough cocoa to do three frames. Well, there's enough for two anyway. So we just go like this. We now have two chocolate frames. And I'm hoping we'll get another one. We were getting plenty of cocoa, now we're not getting much. Well, that's okay. We'll go check on our bees while we're waiting. And the best part is if you switch out the frames and use cocoa frames instead, it actually shortens their lifespan but improves their productivity. So, this Majestic Noble will hopefully die faster. Which is exactly what we want. I don't know where he dies pretty fast, that's for sure. Honeycomb. 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 Sugar. So put our proven frames back, and we're going to use our chocolate frames because our chocolate flames work better for producing more stuff. There we go. We got our third chocolate frame. And as you can see, she is dying much faster than she was, and so she's going to go through life much quicker and hopefully we'll get a purebred. And if I get some more chocolate frames I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to a bunch of the others because I want them to actually produce more stuff. This Meadow Queen is taking forever. She's almost done. Alright, so the other thing I wanted to let you guys know while I was recording this was I'm looking at starting up just a B, um, just doing a B system. So all I'm going to do is work on Bs, and of course we're going to do video editing so you guys don't have to sit here and watch between the Bs and things like that. I'm just going to show you the various B things, we're going to build them, we're going to sit there and we're going to work on them together, and of course I'll cut out in between each session that we're waiting for like this and just wait for them all to finish. And then you guys can see exactly what happens. So let's go ahead and grab all these guys. Let's see what we got. Majestic, majestic. That's what we wanted to see. So we didn't get the normal. That's kind of sad, but that's okay. So now here, we have majestic, majestic as well. And didn't get the normal. But that's okay. Here we got some noble noble. Nice. Got some purebred nobles. So now we do have a couple of purebred majestics. I'm going to breed those together just once because I want some more majestic drones just in case. 
Now, you'll also notice over here where we have our noble, we're trying to get more noble drones. And of course, we're going to take our noble drones and we're going to put them in here. And if we need them, we'll grab them out. So we can actually go down to the bottom and we'll see all of our normal drones down here. Or sorry, noble drones. Along with our bunch of meadows that we stuck in there. But that's okay. That's what we're hoping for. We want to see all those nobles. And we've got a bunch more cocoa beans. Alright. So, well, we've got a couple more impregnated frames. Gonna have to make some more. Chocolate. Chocolate chocolate. And the reason we're using the chocolate frames is mostly because we just want to shorten the lifespans. We don't really care about anything else. We don't want to lengthen their lifespans. We actually want to shorten their lifespans. So we're going to go ahead and do this. That's going to shorten our noble queen's lifespan by quite a bit. you notice she's going to die much faster. But we're going to get dripping combs. Now the nice thing about dripping combs, let me show you here. The nice thing about dripping combs is that they produce quite a bit of stuff. So let's go ahead and empty this out. So there's nothing in there, so we can't get confused as to what it produced. So a single dripping comb produced honeydew and honey drop. All right. And then if we take honeydew and we go R, well, we got to get out of here first, and go R, sorry, U. Uses for honeydew. Honeydew is made in glistening melon. You can make ambrosia with it can also make a blank template for something. I don't know what. Um, I don't know what ambrosia is for. Um, I do believe if you drink it, you get something from it. Um, couldn't quite tell you. Um, let's see. Do any of these other ones shorten life? The restrained frame keeps them from hurting you. Chocolate frame improves productivity but shortens life. Soul frames increase mutation. Healing frame makes them last longer, so that's not what we want to do. Uh, we have the Nova frame again, that's creative only. If I left click on it, as you can see, no recipe. Can't even right click on it and get anything. And the reason for that is because this is just instantaneous death from uh, creative. We have our impregnated, our proven, and our untreated frames. Now these frames are okay. I like to use the impregnated to build stuff. The proven frame is a decent frame, but for what you're getting out of it, it's increasing the lifespan. The um, the healing frame or the chocolate frame are probably a better way to go. At least I personally think. Oh, it's night time. Let's go sleep. And as you can see, it looks like we're falling through the end every time we sleep. I don't know if it's just because of how high up our bed is or what, but it's definitely awkward. That's for sure. So now if we just go take a look, we're going to see that our noble is gone already. And this guy, oh look at that, done as well. So we just want to make sure, these should all be purebreds, but we just want to make sure. Yeah. Oh look at that, we got a speed normal normal. This one's speed slower shortened. Still shortened, but it's normal normal, that's good. This one's slower, which we don't want. This one's normal normal, which is good. Uh -huh. Now you can see our queen here is slower normal. So if we breed her and him together, we should get what we're looking for there. Hopefully we'll get the normal normal. So we got another dripping comb from our noble queen here. And um, so we have some majestic drones. We have some noble drones. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to take our noble queen and I think it's her anyway that we're going to try to turn into the uh, Imperial. So, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to see here that it's noble and majestic. I have a few purebred majestics and you'll get Imperial. So, I'm going to go over here. We're actually going to check how this did. So as you can see, we got a new Meadows Queen, but I want to take a look at her. As you can see, she didn't pick up anything. She got slow pollination instead of slower, um, but really she didn't pick up anything at all. 
that can happen sometimes. We're actually going to take this uh, Meadows drone out. Because I just want to check to see if you're a purebred. So you're a Meadows Noble. So if I just take this Meadows Noble and I stick it in there. And actually, I'm going to put a Noble in there again. And so yeah, the, um, the bees actually filter down the line this way. So whenever this one dies, it puts, if it has extra people, it will put them in here, put them in here, put them in here, put them in here. So in theory, if this was a purebred majestic or imperial, it would eventually make all of these imperial as well. That's the theory anyway. All right, so we got our noble princess, and we want to mix it with this majestic drone. But before we do, we want to change these chocolate frames out for um, soul frames. And I do believe the soul frames over here were dead, right? Yeah. We have one soul frame left. It's almost broken. Let's go ahead and make some new soul frames. You just put a stick in the middle. No, oh, no, wait. That didn't work. Was it sticks on the outside? I always thought it was sticks in the middle. Nope. So it is sticks on the outside. And... Got a couple more frames. We're going to put these frames away for now. I thought we had three. We had three, didn't we? Oh, well. I don't see three, so I guess we only had two on us. We'll take those. And do we have soul sand here? We should. Don't currently have any soul sand, so let's go get some. Still got to fix that floor. It's not really bothering me, actually, which is kind of amazing. Because one would have expected that it would have bothered me, but it didn't. Let me try to empty out a few items here. And it's just so we have some more space. Now we are running low on fuel up here, so we will have to swap out the uh, thing soon. But right now, most of our fuel is, sorry, most of our energy is being used in fuel production. So that we can have more energy. And then once we do that, we can actually run a line up here and uh, do that. Wait. Oh, wait, I can do that right here. I don't need to run away. You just go like this and like this. You get soul frames. All right, so we put on our three soul frames, and we wanted to mix it with the slower, slower, normal. Wanted to mix it with you. Oh, that's a chocolate frame, soul frame. And actually, this is a neat little trick that you can do. You can put chocolate frames in to shorten their lifespan. All right, let me go get my other two chocolate frames. Because soul frames actually only do it upon the uh, upon the bee dying. So the neat part about that is that you can sit there and use chocolate frames to shorten their life and then use soul frames to make them work faster. Are any of these normal normal? These ones are. Boop, bop. 
but as you can see her life's going down pretty fast We'll let it go down just a little bit further, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the soul frames in. And then I think this is going to be the last chance that we get. I don't even know what ancient combs produce. I got these primevals on accident, but hey. So I'm actually going to take them out now because I don't want to chance it. And so now we'll go ahead and I'm going to see if I can find out what this ancient comb produces. I don't know if it does produce anything we want, but let's see. We have beeswax and a honey drop. Not quite what we were hoping for, but better than nothing, I guess. What we do is we go in here. We drop this guy in. We drop this guy in. And we'll keep those two. So that Meadows is still going. She's about to die. Hopefully we get what we want. Alright. Well, we definitely didn't get what we wanted. Majestic Noble. Majestic Noble. Majestic Noble. That wasn't what we were looking for. Hmm. In theory, we might get what we're looking for if we have Majestic Noble, Majestic Noble. Um, we'll give it a try. She does have the soul frames in, so she should be okay. And this is our Majestic Queen. Don't really want to read her out, because we want to make sure that we keep her. Basically, what we've been doing is climbing a ladder, switching back and forth between which one we've been uh, using. But, unfortunately, we weren't able to get it. I'm going to try a couple more times off camera and see if we can figure out how to get the Imperial. It's difficult to get, but I know it's possible. So, hopefully, we can get it tonight, and then I'll be able to show you guys next episode. Alright, have a good evening.